If you have a Squarespace website and you want to change your URL slug, then this video is for you because I'm gonna explain what a URL slug is and how to change it on Squarespace, as well as the one key thing that you need to do when you change your URL slug on Squarespace. So getting straight into it, your URL slug is the last bit of a URL, which is the main identifier of what the page is on your website. So for example, as you can see here, this is a blog post about showing how to get your Squarespace website on Google, on my website, and this bit here, Squarespace website not showing up on Google, is the URL slug. So it's the last little bit on a URL that identifies a specific page that you're on. Now, when it comes to actually editing your URL slug on Squarespace, it's super, super easy. All I want you to do is head over to your Squarespace dashboard, click on website, and this is gonna show you all the pages on your Squarespace website, and if you ever want to change the URL slug, all you need to do is go over to a specific page, hover over this settings bit here. After that, you're gonna see the page settings for that specific page show up. And as you can see here, there's a section that says URL slug. And all you need to do is change the URL slug that shows here. And that is gonna change the little identifier at the end of your URL that's going to identify how to find this specific page. And as you can see here, Squarespace even has a little explanation, the unique location slug for this page. So there you are guys, it's really, really easy to change your URL slug. Of course, once you've done it, just make sure to press save once you're done so that it saves in Squarespace's settings. But now moving on to the real key thing that you need to make sure you do when you change your URL slug on Squarespace. And this comes down to SEO. Now, if you think about it, Google will go through your website and it goes through something called your site. Map. And your site map is all the pages on your website, essentially on a map, so Google can understand what pages it should display on search engines. When you change the URL slug of a page on your Squarespace website, Google's gonna go through your site map and it's gonna go to the page that you changed the URL. However, it's still gonna see that old URL that you changed your Squarespace web page from. So what you need to do, you need to create a 301 redirect. And this 301 redirect is gonna tell Google that the old URL has now changed the new URL. So when Google goes back through your website and displays it on search engines, it's gonna know that the URL has been updated and it's not going to damage your URL. So what I want you to do in order to do this, I just want you to go to this little search bar here and type in redirects, click on this URL mappings here. And then what you're gonna see here is essentially a box that allows you to map URLs. So it allows you to do a 301 redirect from the old URL to the new URL slug that you've just changed it to and all you're gonna do is scroll down and you can see that I've got an example here you just put forward slash the old slug a little arrow here and then forward slash the new slug that you've changed it to of course you can see in this example I threw one redirected a landing page to my home page and of course your home page doesn't have a URL slug which is why I've just redirected it directly to the home page as you can see here you just redirect the old URL to the new URL slug and add 301 at the end and then press save and that's gonna mean not only have you been able to change your URL slug on Squarespace, you've also made sure it's SEO friendly so Google doesn't go through your website and think where the heck has that old page gone. So thanks a lot, guys. If you find these Squarespace tips helpful, then feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm the founder of SEO Space, the SEO plugin for Squarespace, so I frequently share SEO tips to help you rank higher on Google. So feel free and subscribe to this channel so you can see my weekly videos that I'll be sharing.